I end up getting x squared so that I can multiply through getting x to the fourth minus 8x cubed plus 25x. I subtract, so changing all of the signs. I cancel, cancel, I'm left with negative 225x. Oh, no, that's supposed to be an x squared. There we go. So minus 25x squared plus 200x minus 625. Because the 200 and the minus 625 just were carried down. I then get minus 25, so negative 25x squared. 25 times 8 is 200, so I get plus 200x. 25 times 25 is 625 minus 625. I subtract, changing all the signs. Everything cancels, leaving me with zero. So f of x, which equals this fourth power function, also equals x squared minus 8x plus 25 times x squared minus 25, where This 8x squared minus 8x plus 25 is actually x. We go back up to our complex roots here, which we can write as this if we want to. So we get x minus 4 plus 3i, x minus 4 minus 3i times x squared minus 25, but wait, x squared minus 25 is difference of squares. So we get x minus 4 plus 3i times x minus 4 minus 3i times x plus 5 times x minus 5. And that is the fully factored form of f of x. And that is your answer. So all of that work to fully factor out f of x.